How to look expensive when you are on a budget? Is it actually possible to look rich without being rich? The answer is yes, and I will give you the methods on how you can transform your style and look more affluent and expensive. So if this is the first time you're watching my channel, then welcome to the School of Affluence. My name is Anna Bay, and I'm here to help you achieve elegance and navigate in high society. Please subscribe if you like the finer things in life and if you're a woman who wants to become the best version of yourself. Because on this channel, I give you all the tools you need to become a high caliber woman and level up in the society. But if you already subscribed and you know me well by now, then I want to say big welcome back and let's kickstart this video. Okay, so first way how you can look expensive on the budget. Number one, so let your style be simple, girls. If there's something that you really should think about when it comes to looking expensive, well, that is less is more. And the reason for that is because simplicity is often more associated with being expensive. Well, look at the fashion houses. You have many expensive brands that have very simple styles in clothing, in the way they create clothes. They let the clothing speak for itself, like the material of it, the construction of it, the fit of it, because all of those elements create the really expensive look that we want to achieve. But in order to see these important details, sometimes you shouldn't put too much clutter on the facade but not only is simplicity associated with expensiveness people actually pay less attention to your clothing when they are more simple if you really don't have much money to invest in you know very expensive looking clothes then maybe it's good to just keep it simple and keep it very neutral my personal style for instance is quite neutral and also a bit plain I love that style for me simplicity is beauty that is my first tip to you Keep your outfit simple. Less is more. Sometimes that will actually make you look really expensive as a result. Number two, wear flattering clothes. Oh my god, do I see so many women forget about this important part. You have to have a good fit of your clothing. They have to look good on you. It has to suit your body shape. It has to be flattering. Not everybody has the same type of body shape. So we really need to buy clothes that are suited for our particular body shape and that camouflage areas in our bodies that perhaps are less flattering. And when you're wearing flattering clothes, that really helps elevate your entire way of feeling. So basically it makes you feel comfortable and it makes you feel confident. And we all know by now that in order to look expensive, you really have to show off your clothes with confidence, with poise, and also in a way, make people believe that it's more expensive than it actually is. If you carry yourself with that much confidence that make you look, you know, expensive and rich, even though all you wear is just some simple Zara clothes, then people will believe it because you have the confidence and you have the grace and you have the attitude. Really, that does the entire trick. And this is perfect when you want to fake it till you make it. Number three, invest in your grooming. So jumping a little bit aside from the fashion part, let's talk a little bit about beauty because honestly, your grooming is actually more important than your clothes. I personally always invest more time and more effort in the way I put my makeup, in the way I do my nails, my hair, and everything that grooming and being polished is all about. You know, beauty also costs money, you know. I'm not going to lie, that is the department that does cost us women a lot of money, but it's actually the most important department to invest in, especially if you are on a budget, because it's going to elevate your entire look. So I do recommend doing that. But the beauty of beauty is that you can actually do a lot of things on a shoestring, meaning that there are many affordable ways how you can kind of cheat your way in the beauty department. You can do a lot of things at home by doing a lot of things yourself and really take time and really learn the skills. You are actually able to create an affluent groomed look to yourself without having to invest too much money in it. Number four, be clever with your budget shopping. Okay, so one of the things you 
have to become an expert in now if you want to look good on a shoestring and that is to go out in stores like high street shops I'm talking now H&M, Zara, uh, what else do we have? Topshop, all these you know high street brands go to these shops and start teaching yourself to pick up items that are more expensive looking than they are. I'm actually going to show you an example here. I have two pieces of clothing here. One um, is a good example, which is this one, which is more expensive looking than the other one. And the reason for that is the material. I don't know if you guys can see really the material because both of them are polyester. This polyester is a bit like shiny. I don't know if you can see it. So, this is from Zara and it was super cheap when I bought it. I think I paid like 15 pounds for it. But every time I wear it, um, everybody always asks me, is that Dolce & Gabbana? And not only because of the animal print, but actually because of how this material is and feels. And also it's the type of material that doesn't uh, become wrinkly, which is amazing. You know how many times I washed it? Probably 100 times. And it hasn't lost not even one little color or got damaged. So my other example was this. This is also budget, but I don't know if you guys can see because it's, um, it's black, but this is a very typical polyester. The way this polyester feels is a little bit rough and you can see like it's polyester you know what i mean when i wear this top i actually feel a little bit cheap and i can feel like how people can even notice that it's a bit cheap i do like the design of this top it's a bit unusual but i must say the top itself if you see it in real life you would really understand the polyester is really what kills it so this is the type of example that i wanted to share with you you really have to start thinking about things like material, you need to touch every clothing, how it feels, you also need to see does it wrinkle easy, is it difficult to maintain, also things like um, stitching, like for instance, uh, do the stitches show very clearly because that always gives away if something is cheap or not, and other ways how you can kind of pimp up your uh, budget clothing is by looking at the fit, most of the times the fit will just be average, but the secret trick Take your cheap Zara shirt, for instance, and take it to a tailor that is not expensive. Tell the tailor to make the shirt tailor-made according to your body shape, and you will be surprised how much more expensive it will look all of a sudden, and people won't necessarily think that that cheap shirt is from Zara. Number five, choose expensive looking colors. There are colors that look more expensive than others, and the ones that don't look very expensive, I think some of you can already figure them out. Everything that is very artificial looking, like neon colors, like very bright colors, like magenta. Some colors look just very artificial, very low budget and very cheap. You should really try and spend money on clothing uh, that have more expensive looking colors. Colors that are neutral colors. Colors are natural looking colors. And what are the natural looking colors? Those are brown, beige, khaki, um, off-white, gray, military green, etc. Colors that really come from nature. Secondly, you should also invest in wearing outfits that are monochrome colored, meaning you wear an outfit in one entire color, let it be all white outfit or all black outfit or even maybe all red outfit. Red is actually a very elegant looking color and it's a shame very few people actually wear it. And don't forget pastels. Pastels are very traditional and very common with old money aristocrats. You can always wear pastels. Just make sure that it doesn't become too girly girly because that usually takes away the expensive lookingness in an outfit. A quick message before I continue. I have created a free cheat sheet on how you can look expensive if you want some additional pointers that I'm not covering in this video but that are equally important for an expensive look. Make sure you download this cheat sheet by visiting the link in the description box. Number six, add statement pieces. So, okay, we all know statement pieces are not going to come cheap. 
I mean, I know in the beginning it can be a bit challenging, um, especially if you really are on a very tight budget and you're just starting out, but there are ways to go around it. You can buy pre-owned, you can borrow from a friend, or you can just tell your boyfriend to gift you. So what are the statement pieces that I'm talking about? Of course we have the handbag. That is the number one statement piece for all women. High quality handbag. If you don't afford designer handbag, then make sure you buy a high quality leather handbag that doesn't really have a designer brand. There are actually shops like this. When I went to Italy, I saw loads of shops with bags made in Italy without a label that only cost maybe 200 euros, but they really looked like they cost a thousand or 2000 euros. Other statement pieces like sunglasses, jewelry, bracelets, uh, pearls, diamonds if you have, heels, quality shoes, a hat. Hat is actually a really good trick to look really expensive without having to spend so much. It just elevates the whole look regardless if it's winter time or summer time. A hat always makes a woman look more glamorous and really same goes for sunglasses. And number seven, shop pre-owned. When I first started my luxury lifestyle journey, I was actually shopping a lot of things pre-owned because I couldn't afford any nice things back then and I did want to invest in high quality if possible in designer items. So I did go to eBay, I went to second-hand shops, charity shops, etc. and just really tried and grab my little bargains and uh, that really helped me to kind of create my first wardrobe with some nice designer expensive looking pieces so I do recommend doing that there are plenty of websites today where they sell pre-owned things and if you go to charity shops in wealthy areas in your city you will be able to really grab some really good bargains just make sure that the things that you buy are not outdated looking there are things that actually look expensive they are not too worn down and they still look like they have high quality number eight find the right combination so guys combination is key when you're putting together your style and you don't actually need to spend a lot of money on your outfit if you really know how to combine your outfit to perfection that means color combination that means how you combine the actual items together now I know that not everybody is gifted with a sense in style or sense in fashion but this is when you have internet on your footstep so how to get it right when you have no idea idea how to style it yourself just look at other people who do it right honestly today on on the internet we have so much access to so many images so just copy away be a little copycat and get inspiration from other people like this you will be able to create your own combinations and really learn from the pros number nine know where to spend so we might already have touched a little bit upon this but i really do want to emphasize how important it is to actually invest money in the right items so many girls they rather go and spend like i don't know loads of money on a dress they can literally only wear once or maybe even twice because that dress they wore it once at some party and it was such bright color that everybody paid attention to it they took pictures on it they put it on Instagram and oops what happens now well they can't really wear it again because it's so much in your face and so much to be seen and it's already been documented okay so they wasted like $500 on this dress that they're not going to use again so this is a stupid way of investing your money you should invest your money in things that are like i said earlier neutral simple and plain because like that you will be able to reuse them a lot and i'm saying a lot because people are not going to pay so much attention to these items that you're wearing but the beauty in it is that you will have invested money in them meaning they are expensive or maybe they are designers, so meaning they are more expensive looking. So it's a bit of a win-win situation for you. All your first designer or expensive looking items should always be neutral. That is the first strategy ever. All the fancy bling bling, crazy, uh, whatever, colorful things, keep it for later. Keep it for when you really have money or you have a super rich boyfriend that's going to like shower you in gifts every day. Until then, be strategic. So where else should you spend? Like I said, the handbag, you should have a handbag. You must have a handbag. It's like one of the first most important things a luxurious woman have to spend on. Second of 
about footwear. People say it doesn't matter that people don't pay attention to shoes. I don't agree. I think it plays a lot of role. I always inspect everyone's shoes and you can really see cheap shoes and expensive shoes. Expensive looking shoes are just better made. And, and for instance, if you wear a shoe model, like let's say a Blue Bhutan, a Manolo Blahnik or Jimmy Shoe, that is kind of recognized, that gives you that credibility. Like, ah, oh, she's wearing those Manolo Blahniks. Oh, I know them. Oh, okay, so she, she looks expensive, you know? That type of thing. Second of all, jewelry, diamonds, pearls. Yeah, you need to invest in jewelry. A watch, you need to have a watch as a woman as well if you want to come across as expensive looking. I know it's a little bit like nouveau riche to be thinking this way, but this is actually how people resonate, you know? The old money, they tend not to go for these type of things, but the new money do, and trust me, the new money are the ones who are going to be judging you, so... <laughs> so do invest in those pieces. Lastly, coats, jackets, blazer, anything that takes up a lot of space on your body is worth investing in. But I would say more when it comes to outerwear because these things you can also really see what costs money and what doesn't because really it really boils down to how it's made and you can always see it in outerwear so do invest money there but then you know when you have things like trousers you know t-shirts tops dresses honestly those things you can really do on a budget I would say spend money on those lastly unless you want to buy a particular item because of a particular reason or because it has a particular fashion style that you know will just elevate your look and it's gonna be worth spending the money okay we have now reached the last one number 10 now girls homework for you become expert when it comes to studying people who have done it right so I have a website jessabay.com and it's a blog that caters for women who enjoy the finer things in life. I blog about luxury lifestyle and of course about fashion inspiration. It's all about how to dress classy and how to look expensive and on my blog I repost a lot of beautiful women from Instagram, women who really have nailed their outfits to look on point and super expensive and classy and I want you to visit my website and really have a look around Around and see which pictures do you like. If you want to use other sources for inspiration, use old movie stars, use Pinterest, use blogs, use Instagram, whatever. Any form of imagery of women who look chic, who look expensive, sophisticated, elegant, affluent, rich, expensive. Copy them. If not copy them, get inspired by them. Really, everybody today is a copycat, so don't feel like, oh, I have to create my own unique style. There is no own unique style anymore. Everybody's just getting inspiration left and right from each other, so you're not doing anything wrong here, you know? It's normal that we get inspired from each other, so do that, and trust me, you will find great methods how you can look expensive on a budget by copying women who have done it right but then you translate it into a budget-friendly version that suits your wallet. So that was it from me guys and I hope you enjoy these 10 ways how you can look expensive on a budget. If you found this useful please support me by adding a like to the video and of course subscribe if you still haven't done that. Don't forget the free cheat sheet that I'm offering you to download in the link below in the description box. But before you leave, I do have a question to all of you ladies who are watching. I wonder, do you find it easy or difficult to make your outfit look expensive? And if you find it difficult, please share with me where exactly you struggle and I will try and make future videos on these topics so that I can really help you achieve that affluent look that we all aspire to have. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.